what's going on guys it's Ricky with TechBud Solutions um, so for today's helpful video I'm gonna be talking about level 2 or depth right depending on what brokerage company you use um, they call it uh, different things but a highly requested video within our group TechBud Solutions um, was you know what is level 2 and how do you read it right so depending on what brokerage company you have it's gonna determine if you have access to it I know they did just update the TD Ameritrade platform and if you used to have access to it on your mobile app you do now have to subscribe to it so um, it is gonna be a little bit more difficult to have access to it but there's a bunch of free apps that you can actually use online um, and within our group of TechBud Solutions there's a lot of members that use you know third-party apps that have live you know feed and an actual uh, in-depth analysis uh, for these different stocks and they have you know the level twos that allow you to see the ask and the bid so I'm gonna be talking about why they're important and how to use them so first of all what is it right what's level two so I'm gonna start sharing my screen I'm gonna um, show you guys pretty much what it is and why it's helpful so this is pretty much how the level two looks right so for di the different types of brokerage companies that you might uh, be using um, it might be called depth it might be called level two whatever it's called it pretty much just tells you the bid and the ask and it also tells you obviously the bid the size and then the ask the size so what that means is this is the wall of sellers this is the wall of buyers this is the amount they're buying and then this is the amount they're selling so pretty much why is it so important to know where people are buying and selling so when it comes to a stock and and determining that where the price is at if the demand is high meaning that there are more buyers than sellers the price will rise same with you know when the when um, you're expecting to sell you want to make sure that you're selling close to a resistance point and how do you know that if you're not performing a technical analysis another way that you can indicate that is when a wall of sellers build up and what I mean by that is although this might not display it although it does very little it says that you know there's 4340 4340 4340 and 100 100 and 200 right there's kind of a wall of sellers not really um, since there's not that many but there's a good amount of sellers here at you know 4340 meaning that people are trying to get rid of MMID at that specific price now for I I'm sorry MHP now for the buyers there's a bunch of buyers at 43 at 39 well there's two then there's some at 43 38 then there's some at 43 37 and then some at 43 36 and again this is their size so pretty much what this de determines and the easiest way for me to put it is when you're buying a stock you want to make sure that you're not buying where there's a wall of sellers you want to make sure that you're buying when there's a wall of buyers meaning that there's a higher demand meaning that the price is going to go up rather than you know you buying when everyone's trying to sell so you want to make sure that you're buying on the upward momentum rather than downward trend um, and another way that you can use to indicate it let's say you're now trying to get rid of a stock we actually use depth um, or level two when trading DRYS today and what I mean by that is if you guys saw my recap today pretty much what I said was I saw through level two and one of our members shouted it out he, he took a screenshot and put it in the group was that there was a wall of sellers at one dollar and fifteen cents and what does that mean well I bought in DRYS at one dollar and ten cents so now I wanted to sell I wanted to get in at the best potential you know sell price I knew there was a small resistance at 115 but I didn't really know that it wasn't gonna break above it and another way that I can tell that it's not gonna break above it was because the level 2 allowed me access to see that there was a wall of sellers at one one dollar and fifteen cents meaning that there was more sellers than buyers meaning that most likely the price was not gonna go and break above 115 since the demand wasn't really there therefore that is why I went ahead and I studied limit um, order to sell at one dollar and fourteen cents and once I left it actually ended up dropping down so I made the right choice and because of this indication and because of level two I was able to indicate you know this downward trend um, and this resistance at that one dollar and fifteen cents so that's why people find you know these level two quotes to be so helpful because it allows you access to see where there's a bunch of buyers and where there's a bunch of sellers I usually use it like every day when it comes to if I see there's a bunch of sellers at 4340 I sell at 4339 and I get filled before them or if I'm buying and I really want to get filled instead of buying at 43.39 I can you know put in an order at 43.391 you know, 395 um, in order just to get filled because my price is higher than theirs therefore I will get filled before they will um, and and that's really just it you want to make sure that you keep an eye on the size because the larger the buyer the larger the seller 
if, if it's a larger buyer, then there's most likely going to be, you know, a potential spike up. Um, and then if there's a large buyer, then there could be a potential, or a large seller, there can be a potential spike down because the demand, again, isn't going to really be there. Uh, there are phony buyers and phony sellers, which are made for those people that are just analyzing depth. Um, it's made to trick them. So you want to make sure that um, you're not running into one of those. But again, the easiest way that I can put it for you guys is to determine you know where people are buying where people are selling and make sure that if you're getting into the stock that the demand is there and that if you're trying to get rid of it then sell before that wall of sellers um, and that's really just it and just in case that was somewhat confusing pretty much the the whole thing of level two is seeing where the market where people are buying and where people are selling and as an investor you always want to make sure that if you're buying in that in a sense you're buying when, when it's rising up therefore you want to make sure that there's not a wall of sellers right before you buy in because when you do then you're going to start writing it down because the demand isn't really there you need to think about it as an investment but then now as a seller right and there's a bunch of people selling right at you know you bought in at one dollar there's a bunch of people selling at one dollar and ten cents and then there's a wall of sellers everyone's trying to get rid of it at one dollar and ten cents you want to make sure that you beat that dump meaning that okay instead of selling at one dollar and ten cents i'll sell it at one dollar and nine cents or you know just so you can get rid of it right before that wall happens because when it does and the stock can't go above it then you'll start seeing a decline right and as a buyer what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's a wall of buyers at the price that you're getting in at um, and you want to make sure that you're riding it up therefore that that's showing signs of upward momentum that the demand is there um, and that's the whole point and, the, and the, the whole reason that I use level two that people are saying, well, if you don't, you know, use level two that you go in blind. Um, I don't want to discourage anyone if you don't have access to it. There is a series of apps that you can have access to it, uh, depending on what type of you know operating system you're running on your smartphone or on your computer. But I do want to encourage you guys, if you guys do have the opportunity uh, to use this type of tool or resource, it's just another resource that you can use to become a more advanced and developed trader. Um, so I hope my analysis and my breakdown for level two was somewhat helpful if you guys want me to elaborate on anything that i was talking about today feel free to you know message me on the comments or if you're part of tech but solutions then you know dm me and i'd be more than happy to answer your questions if you guys have any video suggestions or anything like that feel free to leave them on the comments um, and i'd love to make a video um, to help elaborate or explain something a little bit better to make sure that you guys understand it and then if you guys aren't part of tech but solutions already the link is provided for you down below and within that link it will provide you with a series of hyperlinks to our group chats and it is again a free networking group we're sitting a little bit over 11,000 members worldwide and really um, what we do best is share best practices share mistakes and effort to promote growth so i can't thank you guys enough again for watching if you guys found this video helpful you know we'd appreciate the thumbs up um, and if you guys can subscribe you know we'd greatly appreciate it hope you guys have an amazing weekend you know of course always end it in a green note take care guys <laughs> oh my god that felt good <laughs> uh, all right sorry guys i just sneezed